boys uh so we're going to go back onto trinket.io once you're on trinket and you've logged on uh you should be able to see the programs that you've created here uh you can uh click on the menu here uh you can go to my trinket so you can go to view all of my trinkets here and that will show you all of the trinkets you have created or that you have saved on your account now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go back to the one that we created last week um <clears throat> now what we're going to do is so that we have a different version for each week that we're creating things uh what we're going to do once that's loaded up we will simply copy uh, and what that's done is that's created a new file for you copy your first program i'm going to go back and i'm going to call this week two uh python um you know what i'm going to call that double o two uh, because we had an issue with the other one so i've saved that that's created my new file now this is all ready to go now last week we uh we looked at um how to create a program you guys had an introduction to this you created a program you created some output you created an input uh, and you also added a uh, a variable assigned the variable you've also added a data type as well <clears throat> now very quickly i'm going to go through the few different data types we have um so the first data type, which is probably the mostly most used, uh, we have string. Now, string uh, would be a piece of text. Uh, it can also be, uh, it, it can take uh, numbers if you wanted to. It can take um, your special characters, your punctuation characters. However, it's just considered text. You cannot do any calculations with it. So if you did uh, assign a particular variable as a string and you wanted to do a calculation with it, you cannot, I'm afraid. Um, the next one, however, we used this last week was an integer an integer is a whole number it's recognized as a whole number it's recognized as a number uh, so you can do some mathematical formulas with it if you wanted um <clears throat> but remember the integer is only a whole number now the next one which would also take decimals is a float um so floats you can take decimal numbers with them as well um whenever you're creating a program uh, you would want to consider exactly what you want to do with that data uh, but we're not going to get to that sort of level at this point yet uh, and the fourth one is a boolean a uh, boolean would be recognized as something which is either true or false a yes or no on or off um, or in terms of binary one or zero <clears throat> so there are your four different data types um, so so far we've used an integer and a string now, um, following uh, what we did last week, what I want you guys to do is I want you to guys to create a program for me. Um, I'm going to get rid of these. Uh, we're not going to actually go back to them uh, at the moment. Uh, now, following what we've done last week, I want you guys to create a program uh, which will ask a knock-knock joke. Um, so you get the computer to print knock-knock. Um, you, as a user would enter uh, a variable um, so you'd say not uh, the variable could be boo um, and then the, the the computer itself will print boo hoo uh, and then you can type in the answer if you want uh, and you can have some sort of computer response um, if it was funny or not um, now you should be able to use what we did last week in order to create that program um, now, you do not want this to continue to run every time we're testing out our joke program. So what we're going to do is uh, we can actually delete this. So very quickly highlight and delete. But you might want to use this whilst you're uh, typing up your current program. So we can simply just um, comment all the lines out. Uh, so they will not be used at all. Okay. So we can comment them all out. What I want you guys to do is write that program for me. Uh, so we should have... Um, program here which has a knock knock joke run through it okay once you've done that go on to the next video um to see what we're going to do next